Quark Expeditions has um, multiple vessels traveling to the polar regions. All of them are great platforms for adventure, but also very comfortable to enjoy traveling in these uh, wild places. We're a guest focused company on board, working with our hotel team, with our guest services guide. Our main role as guest services on board is to be there for our guests 100% of the time. If you're a solo traveler, it's not a problem to come on one of our ships. We tend to try and create a family on board. Uh, to the ship, one welcome, a lot explore, one welcome. I never feel alone, even if I'm traveling as a single passenger, because you are always connecting to different people from different countries. We get guests that come from all around the world that are interested in the environment, in the wilderness, they have those commonalities, yet they come from many different cultures. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Antarctica. We've crossed both the political and biological boundaries. Coming on something like this as a couple has been a great experience. Um, it's an opportunity to see something amazing with someone special in your life. I think it's an experience that really bonds you. You have to come here to see it. available to our guests to answer any questions about what they're seeing. Also, to be able to point out and show them what's around us as we pass through different areas. On our expeditions, we have um, an educational program, but also recaps and briefings. I think my favorite activities on board have been the lectures. Um, it's a chance to hear from people who are highly educated and passionate in their subject on things that you might not know anything about. And it's been quite interesting, actually. I've learned a lot. They can better understand what they're seeing, and therefore, this enhances their whole experience. All of our ships have libraries on board which have been stocked with stories of explorers that have been to these areas before us. At any time, you can borrow one of these books, have a read, and imagine what it was like to be back in those times. Once our guests get back on board, it's really a wonderful thing for them to be able to find comfort. Right, when you come back on board from an expedition, you've been out in the wild, so you're a little cold and tired, and then you have an opportunity to go to the spa and get a really nice massage or a facial, and it's been a really, really nice end to a day. Gentlemen, and he said, do not whistle in my ship. One of the features of our program is we'll often have talks in the evening in the bar. It's an opportunity for our guests to gather and hear some interesting experiences that uh, staff have experienced. Every expedition team member comes to us with a variety of skills, but the one common thread is this willingness to connect and it makes things the best for our guests on board. The dining experience I think is a really important one. In a relaxed setting with great food, it enables our guests to answer or ask some of the questions that they have in their mind. Also, building up the relationship between the guides and the guests. It forms these friendships when you have a unique experience, such as coming to a polar region, it really does bring people together. So there are lasting friendships that are made on board. We are all living the same dream. And sometimes this friendship you take forever.